one of the most important things for admins is to look at how many players are online, how much they have played, and just general usage st statistics. For that, we have something called Plan Play Analytics. It can give you an overview of your server performance, uh, of what plugins are installed, how many mobs are being killed, how many players are online, how long they have played individually, and even geolocation, what well, general geolocation of those players, like what country they're from. Uh, to do this, we'll need to install a uh, plugin called Play Analytics. Uh, you can find it on the Spigot page, or I'll leave this GitHub in the li link in the description, where you then click on Releases in my and click on Latest. In my case, it is 5.5, built 1984, and where we then download this one. Uh, if you're running a Fabric server, that is also available, if we go back here, for fa Fabric, but I haven't personally tested that yet. Then. Uh, we go onto our server, uh, shut it down. I was testing this earlier. Uh, obviously, delete the config file. Um, this wouldn't be there. And then just upload your plugin. Uh, so, like this. You might have other plugins installed. Then start the server. While that is starting, we can go create a new allocation. Uh, some providers allow you to just create a new allocation and just use that IP address. Uh, for example, Auto Hosting allows you to do that. It's a nice little server provider that has great server performance, great features, and it's just my personal liking. Anyways, we create an allocation, copy the port number, and then we go to our plugins thing. So files, plugins, and the uh, plan config file has been created. Go into config.yml, scroll down until we see web server here on line 42, and then change the port to the port we got we created under network, which would be this one. Uh, in some cases, it's also necessary, if you want to access it from a domain, to write your domain uh, address, which in my case would be uh, node1.authosting.net, because that is just how I'm on the first node, which means I have uh, this IP. In some cases, uh, for example, in authosting, you might have node2 or node3, but uh, here it's just node1, and then just colon, and your just this, percent port percent, because it'll just use this one. And we also need to enable the alternate IP, so true. Um, this might not be necessary, but in my case it is, and I'll do that. Now we're theoretically done, but if you also want to gather geolocation, we go down here to line 94, make sure geolocations is untrue, and accept the EO law. True, you can read about it here, but in my case I'm going to be the only one playing, I don't really care. Save. Go back to our server. As you can see, it failed to launch because we didn't configure it yet. So you might need to restart, but I can just run plan reload to reload the plugin. This is fine. You never want to use just reload because that breaks things. But if you reload, like use your plugin name and then reload, which some plugins support, you should be completely fine. And here we can see it actually launches, launches correctly and loads uh, everything without any errors. Now we would be able to go onto our server, which would be uh, your domain name and then the port number that we created here. And if I open this page now, no data will be available. Uh, oh yeah, and you can also change the theme here, but no data will be available because obviously I haven't played yet. If I now join the server, um, nothing much will happen because it takes, I think it updates only every 10 minutes or every hour. But with enough time and enough players, slowly you will have statistics over who has joined, which in currently is nobody, but if I refresh it, I should probably show up. Yes, my username shows up here. Uh, and if enough time passes, you'll be able to slowly get uh, performance metrics and uh, online activity of players and how long they average to play. In my case, it's only 30 seconds because I'm the first player joining. Uh, how many mobs they've killed, and just a bunch of other stuff. Uh, even individual player statistics, for example, what the average ping is when I last logged in, and from what location it is. And not that, but it's only country-wise, not actually physically relocation, because that would be nearly impossible. Uh, anyways, that was that was it.